Hey everyone, welcome to my first impression of Kamigami no Asobi. I may or may not have read about the game that this anime is based off of before watching it. Thanks person on Facebook that decided to cosplay girl with purple hair. As I cosplay said girl with purple hair. Classy cosplay. <laughs> Senpai's review says the game is actually pretty bad. Um, but I decided to go into this with an open mind because, you know, why not? Here's some math for you pretty boy gods. Plus me being able to date them equals Nikki like. This anime follows a hero in Kusanagi Yui. Oh, here we go again. Your average high school girl living with her family who owns a shrine. One day, she finds a magical sword at the shrine. Before she knows it, poof, she is teleported to a miniature garden created by Bored Zeus. But in the anime, it seems like he actually has a reason for bringing her there. The mini garden contains a high school, and not only does she have to attend it, but her fellow classmates are Greek, Norse, Japanese, and Egyptian gods. Her powers have been all restricted by Zeus, or else, you know, Movie cray. Her job is to now attend school with these other gods and teach them human emotions, such as love. You know, it had to be something cliche like that. Unfortunately, our heroine is completely inexperienced in the love department, but those who disobey Zeus's orders get a thunderbolt to the butt. Senpai's words, not mine. Okay, so first off, at the beginning of the anime, claps for you, Yui. Acting like a badass with your katana. Unlike the other Yui, she can stick a katana up her enemy's booties. Totes bring it back on it to the name. Secondly, her brothers are like so cute, like it's like so sad that we'll never probably see them again ever. Just just, just two seconds of spotlight that they had walking downstairs. Run me over. They, they got my dokies. Moving on to the voice. This is listed by first to last appearance, not including the very first scene which had all of the guys in their God born? I don't know. First off was Hades, and his say he was Ono Daisuke, which is um Yusuke from Brothers Conflict and Soda from Danganronpa Dose. He warned Yui about himself like almost immediately when she wanted to start walking to him. And uh he's he's apparently he's supposed to have a tragic story behind himself and uh it promptly confused her and, and then he slowly away. You know what? Yeah, I like the scene because it made me snort. It, it was just funny to me. Good job. Next was Sukiyomi or Tsukito. He's a man-boy dandere with a kiwi rabbit. Isn't he just a whole package? <laughs> Next to come barging into the room was Takeru, or other guys known in the anime as Susano. Oh, Susano! I know who he is now. I'm sorry, I had Okami flashbacks. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of Yusuke, and it's kind of scary. I call Yusuke Yusuke. And it's funny because Hades is Yusuke's voice actor. He's Tsukito's younger brother. That's totally gay for him. He's like hella gay for him. Like, it's Rokan. Goddammit. Next to come flying in is Pegasus Sama, 100% ready to swoop you off your feet. Next to confuse Yui, Loki, the cutie with a booty. Probably my fave. Filling in that sets off a flag for me is that he's got this hella gay romance with his bestie uh, and Thor. They're all childhood friends. They got a special friendship. Pretty canon too. And it's hella gay. I wouldn't have an issue with this if I didn't like the character so much. Like at least like OT3 please. I love the Kaneko-chan thing that he does. But he's a prankster and it pisses me off. Does not help the fact that he looks, he reminds me of Horus, like, a lot. And it hurts me deep in my soul. Mm -hmm. Next is Badaru. I say Balder and I spell it Balder, but it's like Badaru. He's long haired Erwin with Julie's voice. I don't really say Levi because he does sound a lot like Julie. And he is ridiculously clumsy. Like, he's more clumsier than me, and it's very cute. <laughs> but yo, claps. Claps for Kamiya Hiroshi for, like, his great voice acting. I'm not able to suspect him being the future manhandler of Yui's bosoms. Can you tell with that face? Like, I saw like the littlest glint of I'm going to ravish you just for like a second, but you know, other than that, yeah, he's like, bae, bae. But god damn it, Zeus, you can't just play upon my emotions like that and turn to a show to whenever you got feel like it. I know you are trying to prove a point to a mere mortal that you are God. Jeez, come on, I, I had a heart attack. I was like, Ugh. oh, the principal's actually showed up. I don't like my finger being played upon like this. this. This hurts, this hurts deep inside. But I think it's safe to assume that my bae isn't gonna get the proper introduction that I want. 
And they're only gonna focus on the six that they've already shown. So I don't think Yui's ever gonna touch butts with my bae. And lastly for episode one, Apollon, which is the stupidest name I've ever heard. Uh, I, I say Apollo because, you know, that's originally what it was based off of. So uh, he's the Mary Sue that's just not that into you. I hate him. I hate him and I have my reasons. Overall, I kind of liked it. There's some parts that made me laugh probably when I wasn't supposed to when I think about it. Plus, it adds in the whole mythology factor and that's just like number one thing if you want me to watch it. <laughs> I love myths and stuff. My favorite. It's probably why I passed history. Plus the 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 heroine had a little bit of an, an attitude. And but I'm just I'm just trying to find reasons why I I dislike this so much. I mean, it still pisses me off that my bay wasn't in the first episode. Like, um, what is this? How dare you only put him in the opening? And the opening isn't even in the first episode, which always happens. And I'm just like. Eh. Okay. I'll continue to watch this anime for science. And totally not because Kajiyuki voice acts in my bay. Give the first episode four and a half baby sloths. The have is for having Kajiyuki even be in the anime. Yeah, I'm biased. But other than that, do I recommend this anime? I don't want to hype it up, but I want to say a little bit. I mean, I don't- I recommend it a lot more than Diabloth Lovers, but I guess for those people who like Hella Gay, if you like Brothers Conflict and all its awfulness, then you're probably gonna like this anime. <laughs> now I'm gonna go watch the rest of the episodes that came out. Um, it was hella hard to not cosplay Anubis, but my Satsuki wig did not come in the mail yet, so no Anubis, just you. Peace out, Lulu Scouts. Bye! <laughs>